Hey guys, what's up? Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives with 2024 winding down for new releases. It is time to take a look ahead at 2025. I got a couple, oh, I got a little bit of a list of confirmed albums for 2025. I still have two more uh, on the way here for 2024. I'll mention those. We'll kind of start with those and then we'll work our way into 2025. I just wanted to take whatever, 20 minutes to chat about what, you know, what, what we know so far, what's confirmed, what we're speculating on for new releases and you know what new releases that we're hoping for. Uh, there was a couple of couple of releases that I thought would have came out in 2024 that did not. We'll get to those again. One in particular that I've mentioned for the past way too many years, but uh, you'll, you'll know that band uh, or artist when I get there. But you know what? I just thought let's chat about it and throw it down in the comments. Uh, I obviously won't be able to, you know, mention uh, every band that might be putting out a new album in 2025. But I am one of those guys that absolutely looks forward to new music, uh, you know, from all these artists. Some are newer, but mostly these are artists that have been with me for years, uh, you know, as far back as the early 80s, things like that. And honestly, to be, well, to be honest, 2024 was a decent year, but I ended up not picking up, uh, you know, that many releases. Uh, after the one I mentioned here for a new release comes in, I think it's released on the 29th. I'll mention that here shortly. I'll have only picked up 15 new releases for 2024. And I actually, at the beginning of the year, I thought it would be a lot, uh, you know, busier year for uh, newer releases. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to put together a list of, uh, you know, uh, some of these are pretty much a shoe in that they will be released in 2025, but some is kind of, I'm just speculating a little bit, but I put together a list of almost 28 or close to 30 releases that I think could come out in 2025. Uh, fingers crossed. There's some I've been waiting for, like I said, a long time, but I mean, even if, you know, 80% of that came out, that is a good year. So anyways, nothing against 2024. Every year in metal is a good year. Uh, and there were some great releases. I will get to my year-end list. I won't mention any of those uh, in this video. But we'll start off with what I still have coming in 2024. I have one studio album and one live album. So the live album is Halloween, and that is live at Budokan. I have ordered just the CD set for that. That is getting released December 13th. So that would be the follow-up to, well, not really a follow-up, but uh, I will throw this in. We should be getting a new studio album in 2025 from Halloween, and that would be the follow-up to the self-titled from 2021. This is a cassette version of their latest uh, studio album, which in this video I'm going to show an assortment of cassettes, CDs, vinyl, all the things that I collect. Uh, some of them I have, you know, on multiple formats, things like that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to something new from Halloween. And in the meantime, we have a live album to tide us over. And the studio release that I have uh, on pre-order is coming out on uh, November 29th. And that is Accuser. They have a new one called Rebirthless. So that is the follow-up to their self-titled from, uh, when was this? 20, actually this one came out in 2020. Uh, this is a great German thrash. So if you are in the... If you like stuff like Sodom, Creator, Tanker, Destruction, um, Exumer, Accuser, these those guys, that would be like my top six for German metal. This one was uh, their third and I guess final release on Metal Blade. I don't know what, they probably had a three album contract. Anyways, go, I, I'm going to leave a link to their new video or their new song. It is the title track to their new album called Rebirthless fantastic track looking forward to that one so that and the halloween is all i have coming for newer releases for the rest of 2024 so moving ahead to 2025 i made a list of uh, a couple of things that i will check out i'm i don't know if i'll pick them up we'll see uh tokyo blade has a new album coming out it is called time is the fire that one is being released uh january 17th on Dis dissonance records uh, and uh, Dream Theater has a new album coming out February 7th called Para, uh, Parasomnia. 
if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I think I am. So we got the return of uh, their longtime drummer, which I'm, now I'm drawing a blank on his name. Oh well, <laughs> sorry, let me know in the comments or it'll come to me later. Uh, Arch Enemy has a new album called Blood Dynasty. That one's coming out March 28th. The first single came out a long time ago. It was called Dream Stealer. But their newest release song from that album is called Liars and Thieves. Really good track. They really use uh, Alyssa's vocals. It's not just that, you know, death metal growls. She's using her whole range and she can sing. So that is one. Um, yep. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm on the fence about it, but I don't know if I'll pick it up, but I'm definitely going to check out the new Arch Enemy at some point. And still hoping for that new Sabotage album in 2025. Tentatively titled Curtain Call, so we will see. Uh, there's been some news that John won't tour, things like that. So you just never know about that one. Uh, and stuff that is confirmed, and I'm going to show you their latest album, the latest album before the new ones come out here just as some little visual but uh grave digger has a new one out uh, coming out on january 17th called bone collector and they're on a different label now they're on the reigning phoenix uh records label where you know carrie king's on there a bunch of other artists have shifted over there uh primal fears over there now too the list goes on but uh, so Bone Collector will be the follow up to uh, 20. What year did this come out? I think 2020, 2022's um, Symbol of Eternity. There's two tracks released on Bone Collector already Kingdom of Skulls, and then one just got released, I think, two days ago. Really good tracks. This is, in my books, weaker in their catalog. So. Looking forward to a stronger um, album from Gravedigger and definitely a ranking that I'm working on. I'm, I'm pretty much done, but I just don't know if I'm going to wait till the new album comes out or not. So definitely look forward to that if you are a Gravedigger fan. New one just announced a couple of days ago from Destruction, Birth of Malice, coming out on uh, March 7th. I've already pre-ordered that one and the Gravedigger. So that is the follow-up to 2022's Diabolical. So same lineup. Um, yeah, just Destruction. This And to me, this is a great album. I, I know Mike isn't in the band anymore, but these guys still, uh, they kick ass to me. They're still, I love my thrash. So uh, definitely picking up the new one from Destruction. So far, we had what? No kings, no masters, and then we got the new uh, the new single, just released. Uh, like I said, a couple of days ago, and it's their band title track. It's called Destruction. There's a video out for it too. Go check it out. And then this one, nothing out on it yet, but I know it's coming, and that's Primal Fear. Um, if I was a betting man, I would say first three months, first quarter of 2025, you'll see a new one from Primal Fear. It is called Domination, that part we know so far. And two new members, a new drummer, Andre uh, Hilgers, and a female guitarist by the name of Thalia, I don't, I don't want to mess this last name, Bella Zaka. I know, I probably butchered that name, but anyways, we got two new members to Primal Fear. Always looking forward to a new one from Primal Fear. So that is the follow-up to Code Red. And... I did mention that they're over on Raining Phoenix Records now. So these guys, three albums, three different labels, but they're all good metal labels. They went from Nuclear Blast on um, Metal Commando to uh, over to Atomic, uh, Atomic Fire on Code Red and now to Raining Phoenix. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I will be picking it up. Love Matt Sinner and Ralph Sheepers. And uh, so those are the ones that are confirmed. Uh, I am spinning some Annihilator in the background. There should be, it's almost too late to release it this year. I know this album came out in 89, but it is 35 years. So we're going to definitely be celebrating some sort of uh, re-release of this, celebrating 35 years of Anni uh, Annihilator's debut album, Alice in Hell. And, uh, you know, four years ago, I was wondering where Judas Priest, Painkiller, was and why we were not cel celebrating a 30th anniversary but 
I'm pretty sure that we will see some sort of uh, re-release re or reissue of celebrating 35 years of Painkiller here in 2025 coming up. So stay tuned for those. Uh, Megadeth 199, yeah, rest in peace. So that would be another one, hoping, hoping for something special for that 35th uh, celebration. I've heard nothing on it, but, you know, monumental thrash album, you think they would do something, but... Um, what I'm going to continue on, I'm just basically a list of uh, albums that I would love if they came out. I kind of put them in order of how long we've waited for them. So I, I go far back as 2015, and then we'll work our way forward to... Eh, there's one band, I think, that put out an album in 2023 that might put out one in 2025. But let's start off with... Uh, wasp i'm hoping for a new one from wasp this would be the follow-up to golgotha from 2015 so on tour right now uh with armored saint and uh they're doing their uh debut album in full uh had a lot of people commenting that they're going to the show they went to the show uh, a couple of friends have sent photos to me of uh that show looks awesome i fortunately i Sorry, I was fortunate enough to see Wasp on their debut album tour when they opened for Crocus, and I also saw them on the Electric Circus tour. So uh, I would still go if they came within a reasonable uh, distance to where I live, but uh, I won't go too far. Um, but I'd still love to see them again. So hoping for a new one from Wasp, finally. I think 2025 is a possibility. At least I'm hoping it is. Uh, next up, been wait I thought this one would have came out last year, and that was part of one of the ones that I was disappointed. But looking for a, a follow up to Anthrax 2016's For All Kings, so everything we know right now is pointing in that direction of a 2025 release. Uh, to me, it's just a matter of when they will, and uh, you know, I don't know. That's just a that's a long time in, in my metal world to wait since 2016 for an Anthrax album, but still looking forward to it. Um, what's next? Uh, 20, 2019. 2019. Here's a band who was pumping them out you know, pretty much every three years, but then they kind of, uh, I don't know, hit a slow spot, but still looking for a new one from Death Angel. This is going to be hard to see now with this. The light's going down a little bit. Anyways, this is, I'm looking forward to uh, the follow-up to uh, 2019's Humanicide from Death Angel. We know that Mark is also a part of uh, Carrie King's band. So that probably threw, you know, a wrench into things. It definitely did on that uh, Wasp tour, but we won't get into that. Um, also, just read some more news about uh, Testament they're looking like they're what 90 or 85 percent or something like that completed for their new album they were on that old four-year cycle but that's now a five-year which is fine by me that's okay if it's uh if it's a good album and they're you know trying to make sure that they're putting out some quality product whatever take the extra year that's fine but that would be the follow-up to 2020's uh titans of creation this was actually my album of the year for 2020 next on the list okay we got 2020 and i actually i had some vinyl here too so i the vinyl I'll, I'll tell you the years too because there's a couple of actually i should jump over here right now let's finish off um 2020 and then i'm going to do a couple of more and then we'll uh, match up but hoping for a new one from vader this is their last album from uh, 2020 called solitude in madness you know, and unfortunately, I know that a, a few albums, especially, you know, albums like Accuser, this, uh, even, you know, Armored Saint, which I'm going to mention, really got lost in the in that COVID, in the COVID world. And, uh, you know, they weren't able to tour properly and promote their albums. But, uh, and in a way, some of these bands, it really kind of set them back in, in years too. So, um that's a big part of it was COVID for sure. So looking forward to a new one from Vader. Uh, Polish thrash, kind of death. Uh, death, a little bit on the death side vocals. But these are 
these are vocals that, well, I can understand most of what he's singing and uh, just phenomenal. This album, by the way, yeah, it's, it's a shorter album, but it is wicked. So let's jump back. So we're jumping back to, no, still got one more from 2021. Um, this one, Onslaught, this is Generation Antichrist. So I'm looking forward to uh, a new one from Onslaught. This one was with their new vocalist, David Garnett. This is killer. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's around 38 minutes. It is just in that wheelhouse that I enjoy, 38 to 42 minutes, where you you basically, once you're done playing it, you just want to spin it again. But Onslaught, uh, UK Thrash, so looking forward to a new one from them. And then the couple I should have led off with after probably... No, I should have let off with these actually, but because these are two long time albums. Looking forward to, and these both tie in together. <clears throat> and the first one would be Merciful Fate. This came, this is their last album that came out in 1999. So there's rumblings about a new Merciful Fate album. So I'm still thinking that they will do a King Diamond and a Merciful Fate album in the same year. But I'll tell you, I've been saying that for about three or four years in a row. So I've been wrong every year. So fingers crossed on that one. But Merciful Fate, I'm a big fan. And the next one up, been waiting since 2007 for the follow-up to Give Me Your Soul, Please, from King Diamond. Uh, and those of you that reached out to me, uh, you know, telling you, telling me that you were sorry that the King Diamond show was canceled, that I was going to, Hey, thank you very much. And uh, you know what? Life goes on. We will look ahead to the next time. But yeah, I was bummed out for a couple of days, but I've bounced back since. So uh, hopefully I'll get to see King Diamond and Overkill somewhere else and, and Night Demon even too. But we definitely need a new one from King Diamond. And now I think they've pretty much uh, committed to getting um, the Institute out by the end of, at least by the end of 2025. If not, I am... I'm done, I, I think. But anyways, 2007, that's enough time, guys. Let's get it going already. Moving on to, we've got a couple more vinyl. 2019, here's a, this one I'm looking forward to. I, I believe it will come out in 2025. And that is the follow-up to Possessed Revelations of Oblivion. So this is uh, 2019. And this is my album of the year album of the year in 2019 um what did it beat out in 2019 um i think uh, overkill wings of war this one just edged that out but definitely looking forward to a new one from possessed because if you've never heard this album this is just phenomenal not to me it's it's not death metal this is just thrash with harsh vocals and you know some strong theme stuff like that but just phenomenal album this one uh, what else? Another one from 2019. So this band is a newer band, but I've really got into these guys over the past four or five years. And that is Ger um, German. Sorry, these guys are from Sweden. Traditional metal um, band is called Ram. And this is called The Throne Within from 2019. Uh, yeah, if you just like that traditional metal with, you know, their own indiv in individual sound, sound in there too. They're, they're not a copycat of anybody. They're not a maiden clone. They're not a priest clone. They're Ram and they sound like Ram, but check them out. Great album too from 2019. So looking forward to a new one from them. This one was on Metal Blade, but you know what? With the cues are getting dropped or, or whatever, from, I'm a little worried about Ram. I don't, I don't know if they'll just self-release it or something. So hoping to hear some new some news about Ram here soon. Uh, what are we going to go with next? Some 2021s. No, no, 2020. All right. I got, actually got a couple of my favorite German thrash. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see a new one from Sodom in 2025. Would be the follow-up to 2020's Genesis 19. Um, this was up here. I think this was this came just behind um, Testament Titans of Creation for uh, album of the year, and definitely artwork of the year. I give it to this album. This is just phenomenal. Um, Sodom. So looking forward to a new one from Sodom. 
So we already have Destruction, hopefully Sodom, and I will also show you another uh, bit of German Thrash. Also hoping to hear something, or hoping to hear a new one from Annihilator. So this, actually this one came out in 2020. This is Ballistic Sadistic. I'm not sure if we, this, that one might be a long shot. Um, I don't know if Jeff is doing anything new right now, but I know Stu Block was in the band. They redid Metal 2. Uh, Stu was the vocalist for those live shows where they did Alice in Hell in its entirety. And uh, just hoping, yeah, if Stu's in the band and he's the vocalist, that would be uh, great with me. I, I don't mind, and I don't mind Jeff's vocals either too. So, and we've been waiting quite a while now, and I'm talking going on three years since the announcement of those Annihilator reissues. I'm like, you know, I I want to, I, I can't wait to they do finally come out uh, is what I'm trying to say, but. They announce them and then you're going on years before you see anything and it's just it's just it's just baffling in my books but um let's grab another cassette <clears throat> should see a new one in 2025 from exodus would which would be the follow-up to uh, 2021's persona non grata uh and they got a new label too so they're over on napalm records but i'm pretty sure you will see a new exodus for sure Hoping um, for a new album from Herman Frank. If you know Herman Frank, ex except guitar player, also in Victory, um, another band called Moondock from back in the day. But this is uh, would be the follow-up to Two for a Lie from 2021. Another great album from Herman Frank. Four or five, I think five studio albums um, for Herman Frank's um, band. All worth your time. <clears throat> Next up, New one from Armored Saint, pretty much confirmed. These guys are kind of on the five-year plan. Um, but 2025, you should see a new Ar uh, Armored Saint follow-up to Punching the Sky from 2020. And again, um, oh, and by the way, I love this artwork because I, I love purple. I, I'm a big purple fan. Um, but yeah, one of those albums that just got, you know, kind of lost in COVID and not toured on properly. So um and if you watch one, one of my latest videos you know i th think very highly of this band armored saint um here's another one where is the what is this one from 20 um or did i didn't write it down um todd latory this was my album of the year for 2021 this is todd latory's rejoice in the suffering you also know him as the lead vocalist for queensrike but i'm just I'm, I'm okay with the Queensryche stuff, but this is where it's at. This is just a phenomenal album. And uh, I know he's working on some new material with uh, the same guitar player that is on this album. So I'm hoping that we see a new one from Todd Latore in 2025. And if you, have, again, if you have not checked this album out, pause that and uh, have a good look and go check it out. It's, it's killer. Um, next up, a little bit more death metal. And this is, um, I don't have all of this band's material, but uh, Ace Fix, Necroceros, this is from 2020, uh, 2021 too, I think. But I'll pull this out. So this is uh, Martin Van Drunen on vocals. This, I just love it. I And I do, his voice is, is an acquired taste for sure, but I've definitely acquired the taste for it. I get the whole thing. Um, the guitar, um, that Paul B uh, Bayens, just a phenomenal guitar player. Love his guitar tone. But yeah, just uh, these guys are from the Netherlands and, uh, you know, some Dutch death metal. Awesome stuff. Necroceros. This is actually high up on my list too for, um, let me just double check on the year. This Yeah, 2021. This was like top five for sure. Phenomenal album. Moving on to some more German thrash. Hey, and another band that I am going to do a ranking on. There's not many on YouTube, but uh, I really enjoy these guys. I don't care about the beer, the comedy, whatever. There's way more to them than that. And uh, hoping for a follow-up from uh, Tankard. This is Pavlov's Dogs from 20, 2021? No, 2022 this came out. So 
Uh, yeah, and this is already 18 studio albums for these guys, so they're working on uh, studio album number 19. That one might be a long shot, so maybe tail end of 2025, and you never know, maybe early 2026. But you know, always I don't know. This Tankard is a is a they're underrated to me, and like I said, they're just more more than just that beer, and you know a lot of political theme stuff life stuff it's it's well worth your time if you like your german thrash or if you like thrash period uh, let's keep moving on this band uh again i need to complete their discography i'm only missing a couple albums but <clears throat> i absolutely love this album from uh 2021 from running wild this is blood on blood great album uh very very good album and uh, still still pumping out uh you know good material after all these years i'm i'm a big running wild fan there's just a, a little period of about three albums that i have not been able to get a hold of yet or i need to try harder to get them and i will uh, eventually definitely do a ranking on running wild but looking forward to a new one from uh running wild and that should be out in 2025 i would think this one, this would be a long shot. This might be an early 26 one, but I think, I don't know, you never know. Uh, but I am looking forward to possibly a new one from Blind Guardian. This is uh, The God Machine from 2022. Um, I know they're working on material, but like I said, this one, like I said, could be a long shot, probably 2026. But if you've not checked out this album, this is awesome um there is about four tracks that are just unstoppable on here and the rest is is no joke either and moving on this one i think will happen i think we will see a new one from voyevod in 2025 follow up to 2022's synchro anarchy um probably kind of tail end 2025 later you know probably maybe even a year from right now but uh, great album too from 2022 from Voyevod. And what else we got? Not much left here to show you. And the way this guy works with his band, and now that he has Peter Baltes in the band, you may just see a new one from uh, UDO. So I got two 2023s to show you, but sometimes they crank them out every two years, but. Uh, I think you might see a follow-up to Touchdown, uh, which came out in 2023. You might see that in 2025. And, you know, this guy's not getting any younger. Well, neither am I, but uh, I think old KK Downing, or not old, you know, KK Downing is on a two-year cycle for releases. So I think you will see a follow-up to Return uh, sorry, Return of the Sentinel. That's the first one. The Sinner Rides Again. Um, Napalm Records release. So I'm thinking you will see a new KK Downing album out in 2025. But let me know in the comments, is there albums that you're looking forward to? Uh, you know, those 35 uh, year anniversaries. Very cool stuff. Um, throw it down in the comments. Or, you know, are you looking forward to any of these ones? And like I said, just add to the list because you just can't get to everything. We know that too. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, stay heavy.